made it to the repair shop, going in, wish me luck. Hopefully they finished the car, because that would suck. That would mean I would have flown down to LA for no reason if they did ha haven't finished it yet. And it looks like, oh, they did not fix it at all. Look at how casual our local airport is. This is it. This is a stark contrast to LAX. Bye. Bye, I love you. See you in somewhere between 28 and 48 hours. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see you in 48 hours, my little baby boy. So chill. I wish it was like that every time in every airport. Also, I showed up 40 minutes before my flight is leaving. Uh, this is my gate. Looks like it's gonna be a busy one. <laughs> I have to say, this is uh, this is a first. Not a lot going on. Just a travel day today. Oh, we got two more people coming in. This is exciting. Yep, to Seattle. Just us. Just us. <laughs> Apparently. Departing at six to Seattle. There's just no, no one even in the plane or no, anything? There's nobody, you can see there's no lights on in the plane. <laughs> and I thought was maybe they left in another plane because that one is broke down, but it just doesn't appear to be. Huh. I would call them. You're gonna call them? Call them. I guess we're switching gates. <laughs> Never experienced this before. Yeah. yeah. My next flight started boarding 20 minutes ago, so wish me luck. They literally could not have put these gates farther away. I'm on the other side of the airport and my flight's gonna leave in like three seconds. Sweet, thank you. We just made final boarding call. <laughs> We're back, baby. I switched into shorts, get some flexibility, some aerodynamics. I'm gonna send it to the repair shop. They haven't called me or updated me in like two days. They said the car was supposed to be done on the 31st. Haven't heard from them since. So we're kind of just banking on the fact that that's gonna work. Feels good to be back in LA. 70 degrees right now, feels nice, but I miss the snow. We gotta get back as soon as possible. But before I can do that, A, I gotta pick up my car, but B, I gotta relapse. I gotta get some Chipotle because I, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. I've been up since four. What, what's the guy supposed to do without a little Chipotle in his life? Made it to the repair shop, going in, wish me luck. Hopefully they finish the car, because that would suck. That would mean I would have flown down to LA for no reason if they did, had, haven't finished it yet. Hey! We got it back, and it looks like... Oh, they did not fix it at all. Wait, hold on. They didn't fix it! What the f***? No! What the f***? We just paid them so much money to fix it, and it's literally the same. Look at the wheels are straight right now. This is where the steering wheel is, and the wheels are straight. Seriously, this is so f***ed up. I have to drive back to Montana. We have a trip to go to. Steering wheel? Yeah, it's good looking. Wheels. They didn't f fix it. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me the f*** out. What a roller coaster of emotions first of all I fly down here all the way from Montana to pick up a car based on a text message that says wait 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 hi Tucker we are on track for 12 31 2019 that was supposed to be the completion date of the car next text message we are nearing completion the next and most latest text message thank you for allowing us to repair your Subaru we buy the tickets I fly down to Los Angeles picking up my car based on that text message and after the manager talked with me and saw how angry I was and understood that I have to drive the car to two days back up and then leave to Hawaii the following day. He basically told me that uh, the parts are here, they're gonna put all their guys on it and fix it and have it done by six today. The experience overall, but I'm glad that it's being fixed. Uh, so now I have a couple hours to kill. Oh, I just took a nap. The repair company called, the car is finished. It's two hours earlier than I said it was gonna be finished, so I'm gonna go pick that up and then we're gonna hit the road. Try number two. Let's see if this works this time. There she is. All right. Let's try this again. So far, we're looking good. Any alarms? Hey, nice. Oh, it feels good. The Subi is back in commission. We can hit the road. I don't know why I'm so excited because yeah, the car's done, but now I have an 18 and a half hour drive ahead of me, so. 
<laughs> I'm getting sick again, I think. I'm taking it chill. I've been on the road for about six hours and it's uh, 1.30. AM left obviously way later than I wanted it to but what are you gonna do? I'm car camping it up tonight. We're not going with the ideal car camp setup, but I do have a nice comfy air mattress. We're gonna hit the hay. I didn't make it very far because I had to leave so late. So tomorrow's gonna be the big end of the drive back to Montana, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. And we're set. We're going right up in this cozy. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna call it for today's vlog. Pretty hectic day. I'm just glad that I got the car, to be honest. I, that would have been such a bummer to have the car not be ready and not be finished and not be able to drive it up to Montana, but we f***ing powered through. They came through and they finished the car. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I don't know why you haven't already, but you definitely need to hit that subscribe button. And beyond everything else, as always, have a great rest of your day because life's too short not to. We'll see you tomorrow, peace. Are you kidding me? We're like on a volcano, right?